this book is really good, but I'm just so tired. I just can't keep my eyes open. Maybe I should take a little nap. Oh my gosh, this is so much I love this so I love this is so awesome. What am I doing here? So, hey Maddie. So, Hi. Suffering, um, missed you lately? Uh, no. I know. So, so uh, who are you again? Awesome. Uh, remember me, Rihanna, your You're best right? friend. Um, do you need to get uh, uh, some fresh air outside or something? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just getting a little hot. I need some fresh air. I'm gonna go get some fresh air. Okay. Dudes. What's going on? Has anybody is anybody standing on it or anything? Standing on what? The necklace. It's gone. What necklace? So what's going on? My my necklace. Where? I don't know. Something. I lost it. My grandmother gave that to me. It's the last thing she ever gave to me. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll, we'll find it. My hairpin. It's also gone. Who could have taken those things? They're so close to my heart. I know. It's okay, I'll find him for you. Because I'm... Madison, the greatest detective of all time! So, when was the last time you saw your necklace? Well, I was wearing it at the party, and same with that hairpin. I mean, I don't know, just, they're just gone. Okay, well, there's two options. You either dropped it and lost it, or someone took it. Who would be so mean to take it? All my friends here, they, they all know how important they are to me. Well, true. Hmm. I think we need a little bit interrogation. So... Where were you last night, Abigail? Uh, I was hanging around my house watching TV. So you had no idea about this, uh, little party? What? What party? I don't go to parties. Okay. So you've never seen, have you ever seen the necklace that Lizzie wears? No. I mean... No, I haven't. Well, you are, you are always the nicest person at school. So, I like to do what I want. Nobody bosses me around. I mean, seriously. I am Abigail Woods. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'm done with you. So, Shayla, where were you last night? Well, you already know. I was at the party with you, silly. Yeah, you were at the party. And you were also next to Lizzie. Yeah, she's my twin sister. We always go places together. <laughs> so that makes you a prime suspect for the thief. Are you accusing me of stealing her necklace? Why would I do that? I know that my grandmother gave that to her. I have one too. But I never wear it because, I mean, just so yesterday. Okay, so I can pretty much cross you out of the suspect list, right? Uh, no doubt about it. I wouldn't do anything like that. She's my sister. Right. So, where were you last night, Ray? At the party. Remember I told you to get some fresh air? That's right, you were there. I was with you most of the time, but except right when I left, which happened to be right at the moment that Lizzie lost the necklace. Are you accusing me of stealing that necklace? I'm serious, I would never touch her necklace. I mean, seriously, she won't let anybody touch it. Because if I tried to touch it, she would totally like be all like, Whoa, you stole my necklace, how could you? Yeah, that is true, it sounds like Lizzie. But still, I gotta find some sort of evidence here, okay? Uh, what kind of evidence? I'm your best friend. I've never stolen anything in my life. Happy to save myself. Okay. Well then, you're a little bit quick to judge. You know, a little bit quick to give your answer. Like, I would say something like, did you do it? And you were like, no, 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 right away. That makes you even more of a suspect. Ah, I thought I was your best friend. Look, I gotta do what I gotta do. Come on, you know me. I'm just trying to do find the right the 
person, you know. Oh, well, you're dismissed. So where were you, where were you last night? I was at the party. Doing what, exactly, Sarah? I was getting a couple snacks and hanging out with my BFFs, no? Don't okay. you ever do that sometimes? All the time, but I'm just saying, I didn't hear you once speak. I mean, it was kind of a little bit suspicious. I'm kind of shy, so... Well, you're not acting shy right now. Well, that's because you're a detective and I'm a girl. <laughs> okay, I don't have any, know how that those two relate, but... I got my eyes on you. Uh, are you saying you have eyes glued to me? Well, that is it. I am out of here. Well, through all of my interrogating, I think the most suspectful person would be Abigail. I mean, I don't know. Just my reasoning. I guess I'll go talk to her tomorrow at school. Abigail? Uh, yeah? Um, I've been looking through all my notes, and it occurred to me right now you're the prime suspect for stealing the necklace and the pendant. What? Seriously? Yeah, yeah I looked through all of my stuff. <sighs> this is why I don't like being a gay girl, because they always blame everybody else. Look, I'm not... And they screw all, <coughs> all evidence leads to you. Oh, really? Because I didn't do it. So it's my house. Then who did it? Who knows, because I wasn't at that stupid party anyway. I don't go to parties. Well, it just magically disappeared. You could have just snuck in while she was in the bathroom and took it. Really? You never know. I'm not some kind of super agent spy. But I got my eyes on you. I don't understand. All the evidence leads to Abby. This doesn't make sense. It seems like it would be... Abby, but it seems like I've never known her for her to, be, to steal anything. I just don't know. <gasps> this is like the book. The book. I read this book. I know what's ha I know who did it. Hey, can I come in? Uh, sure. Um, I wanted to talk to you. About what? Stuff. Sarah... I know you took it, the stuff. But how do you know? Because it's obvious. All clues lead to you. But I wanted to wear something pretty on my birthday, you know? Because I never get to wear anything pretty. pretty yeah, I know. My family's poor. I know. It's just, you shouldn't steal things. I mean, it's just not okay. And as much as you're my friend, I have to tell people. What am I Tell Lizzie. We're friends, but she's not going to be after as, that. As long as you apologize and tell her that you did wrong, I won't tell her that I found you out, okay? okay. Tell her yourself. Do I, do I have to give her the stuff back? Of course you do. It's not yours. Okay. Let's go. What are you doing here, Sarah? I wanted to talk to you about something. Did you find my necklace? He, he sort of. What do you mean? I'm the one that took it. You 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 took it, my pendant? I'm really sorry. And why I did why did you do that? Like you know how special that is to me. I know, but I really want something pretty to wear. If you would have asked, I would have let you borrow it. I'm really sorry. You should have asked. Will you forgive me? Yeah. But next time you really need to ask me. You can't just take my stuff because it really hurt. Did you also take the hair clip too? Yeah. Here you go. You know what? I forgive you because you told me. I mean, if you would have just been found out, I probably wouldn't forgive you. Now everything's back to normal. So, where were you last night, Sarah? Where was I? You know, I don't know. Like, uh, what? Where were you? Uh, I can't remember. It kind of slipped away. You were at the party. I saw you. I was? Yeah. Was yeah. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. So, did 
Did you steal the necklace? What? <laughs> Are you accusing me of stealing a necklace? No way. Like, you would never do that. Like, uh, like I'm the most popular person. Like, see this outfit? It was made from the most finest sex. I would never steal anything like uh, that was a necklace. I mean... Okay, you're dismissed. <laughs> Yeah, I think your mother's gonna want to hear about this. Yeah, I think I am.